All right, I'm going to show you how to install Python 3.7 and create a simple program on a Windows machine. The first step is to go to python.org and look for the download. So right here I can see downloads I got a Python 3.7.0. And so I'm going to click this link and it asks me to save it. So I save the file. And then it asks me where I want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Uh, it sometimes saves it to your downloads. Uh, it doesn't really matter where it saves it. But either way, you have to remember where it saves it so you can find it later. Now, once it's downloaded, you need to then open it. So here it is on my desktop. The first thing I do is to double click it. And I want to run this. Now, in order to make sure it runs correctly you probably want to make sure you install it for all users right now you can see that if i have this install now it'll install it just for this colton j user in this app data directory we don't want that we want it to be installed for everybody so i like to check this add python 3.7 to the path i want to do customize installation i want to make sure i have all these things here uh, i want to check this box that says install for all users then do my install. All right, after Python is installed, it's time to close this and create a new program in order to test it out. So I'm going to use Notepad, which is a built into Windows to create a program. Ideally, you'd have something better. Um, Notepad++ is an easy download. Um, also, there is a, a new editor called Atom, which is uh, provided by the GitHub people. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I have Notepad running. Now it's time to create a program. So I put a couple blank lines in here, and then I start with a print. I say, is this working? Question mark. And then I want to have it not disappear immediately, so I will put in input press enter. I want to save this file. Now, because I'm in Notepad, it's going to have a little bit of trouble because it wants to save it as a TXT file. So I'm going to do save. And... I want to save on the desktop and I want to save it as a Python file. So I will make this one hello.py. I need to change the type from text right here to all files. And then save it. Once it's been saved, you'll see this hello.py file. I can run it now. And it pops up this window right here. And so you press enter and it will disappear. And that's what you need to do in order to install Python 3.7, create a basic program, and then run it. 